Hi guys, it's Pete from MyDrewBench.com. Today I'm going to do a little bit of maintenance on one of my resin printers. Uh, the fat, the fat film on my printer has gone bad. It has a little hole in it. We're going to change it so it looks like this. You're going to need some supplies. You're going to need some screwdriver bits, uh, preferably 2 millimeter and 2.5 millimeter Allen bits for a screwdriver. You're going to need some glass cleaner, some microfiber towels so that you can clean off your vat before you start working on it. Remember, resin can be toxic or harmful to some people. It doesn't bother me, but some people it might. And if you are sensitive or have sensitive skin, you're going to want to take some precautions. I'll show you the whole procedure from start to finish on how to change the FET film. Let's get going. I'm going to put everything aside. We're going to take a look at our vat here. And what we have is a two millimeter Allen bit. So you can see that there. And I've got my little screwdriver here. I'm going to put that in. And we're going to loosen each of these up one by one. I'm going to start in the corner and just work my way around. There are lots of screws, so keep them all organized. Okay, so once that's all unscrewed from there, we can start removing this piece here. And I'm going to grab a little screwdriver to pry that out a little bit. And of course, the reason I'm changing this is because, unfortunately, there's a hole somewhere here in the FET film, and the hole is allowing resin to leak onto my Elegoo printer. So now that I've got this piece out, we can flip it over and we can see that our felt film is tied into these two plates. So if we look carefully, you see all these little all these little Allen screws here, and there's two metal plates that squeeze the felt film together. And now what I'm doing is I'm just gonna see how much play is in this felt film because I kinda wanna keep that same amount of play, and I'm gonna show you a little trick to do that. So let's put the vat aside. And now we have to undo each of these little screws. And those are a different size Allen wrench. So I'll put that over here. Again, I'm going to start in the corner. Okay, so now that everything is unscrewed, I should be able to lift up this top, top plate and then pull out my FEP film. And that should come off pretty simple. And here's my old piece of FEP film, and it's hard to see, but there is a little hole in it somewhere. I just don't know where it is. I can't see it, but there's a couple kinks and creases in the FEP film, so it's a good time to replace it. Just going to throw that away, and now we'll grab our new piece of FEP film. So here is our new piece of film. It's in pretty good shape. I can lay that over the other piece here. And then we can put this piece on top of it. And we still have some play in there. You might want a little more play in this. So I'm going to show you a little trick to get a little extra play and your FEP film so that it seats tightly into your vat without ripping it. So I'm going to take a piece of paper toweling, a uh, half sheet of paper toweling, and it's folded. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that underneath the FEP film so that it raises it up just a little bit. 
just like so. Now the FEP film does surround our lower plate of our frame and I'm going to put that right like this. And now you have to start by poking some holes in this and to do that I just use a small little screwdriver tip. So now that I have the frame aligned over itself here, what I want to do is I want to start by poking some holes in these two corners and then I'm going to take one of my screws I'm going to put it in the corner and I'm going to start tightening that down into the other frame and I'll do the same on the opposing corner So now I've got one side clamped down, and now we'll do the opposite side. I'll take my screwdriver, I'll poke a hole here, and I'll poke a hole here, and then I'll take two screws and insert them and tighten those up. Top film should be so the fat film should be somewhat loose in the frame but it should be securely mounted between the two plates and now what I have to do is just walk, work my way around in every one of these holes here that has a little indent and I'm going to poke holes all the way around And now we can go and tighten up all the bottom side frame screws into each other so that it holds the FEP film tight. Okay, so we have our FEP film and it's securely in position across the entire frame. We have excess on either side, plus we have some play in the FEP film. And we have a little dog here, we'll get rid of that. Uh, my border collie is shedding something fierce. Now it's time to grab a razor blade. And what you're going to do is you're going to trim the FEP film all the way around the frame so that you're cutting it off. So we're going to the last little bit on this side. And now our FEP film is trimmed and inserted into our frame. The next thing we need to do is tighten it up into our vat. <clears throat> now, the reason we needed a little play in this is because when we tighten this up, we want this to push down into our vat and hold it securely. And you need a little bit of play here. And this will put some pressure on the FEP film and allowing it to stay rigid like a drum surface. So I'm going back to my other Allen wrench and we'll start tightening these down. Again, you'll need to poke holes in each one of these. And with those holes done, we'll take our screws and we'll tighten our vat a little bit at a time.
Okay, we're not tightened down completely, but we're nice and firm, and now we're just going to turn these a little bit at a time. And there we have our new FEP film. You tap on it, should sound like a, a nice drum beat. Should be tight, should be fit. And a good way to test this, guys, is to go fill it up with some warm water and then let it sit and see if it leaks somewhere. And hopefully, if you did this right, you won't have any problems at all. Well, guys, I hope you did find this helpful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. If you're looking for any information on FEP paper or what, what are good printers right now, this is Christmas season 2020, go to my blog site, click on the link below. It'll take you to the page telling you how to do the FEP paper change. And I'll also have some links to some really wonderful products there that you can get anytime. Have a great day. I hope you uh, have a great holiday season, and I'll be looking forward to seeing you the rest of the year. Thanks.